Hi there, this is Universal Missionary, and this new video is going to be uh, about two things, and uh, it is first of all about getting, uh, more than likely it's going to be about getting a new uh, legendary character immortalized, or it's going to have uh, a couple of um, other characters in there, depending on uh, what I get, um, because... <clears throat> I am uh, going to get a pull uh, from the community rewards from the uh, event that we're doing. And that means uh, a possible legend, not necessarily for certain, but hopefully we can get something good. And then if it turns out to be really good, then uh, we might end up using the uh, honor uh, on, the, uh, on something else. We'll see. But uh, I'm going to go ahead and do some collections today. <coughs> And then try to see if we can be able to continue in the event. Uh, for those of you that speak Spanish, uh, I'm going to repeat just a little bit of what I said. Solamente aquí vamos a hacer este uh, un inmortal aquí, este de um, uno de los miembros. Um, y vamos a hacer este un, uh, una colección uh, de artículos. Este, si ustedes hablan español, síguenme. Uh, en los otros videos también. So I'm doing my daily connect collections and... Okay, so I need another 30 more dilithium so I can be able to get... Um, and I get Kievan today and I already have him and I because of my VIP status I get two copies of Kievan so not too bad I'm at level I believe I'm at level 12 um I'm at level 12 VIP <clears throat> and I am two away from getting um unlimited VIP status which means that I get everything in the month um let me go over something really quick. I, I just want to check something really quick. I've never looked into this before up until right now. And that means that if I get 14 VIP status, and that means that I realize that at the end of the month, I can only wait, or I don't need to wait four months in order to get four copies of the ultra rare character. I just simply need two months. So I guess I'll try to work toward that later. <clears throat> so, definitely make sure that you, um, you know, get involved in your VIP at least, just to get the monthlies. Uh, sure, it'll take forever to get there, but uh, at the end of the day, um, <clears throat> some of these sales are pretty good, actually. Not too bad whatsoever. Uh, you know, especially the 10 packs for $9.99, which isn't bad. And this time I'll end up foregoing the, uh, well, it looks like it didn't give me an option, so <laughs> that's not too bad. So let's go over here. <clears throat> I only need 76 more, and I got it. Mm -hmm. That's pretty good right there. So let's go ahead and look at our star base. <clears throat> Make sure that you are in a fleet. And make sure that you try to collect as many of those uh, pieces as possible. And we are working on getting our deflector array and our armory. Uh, so we are getting the complete security package finally going. And I'm going to help out today with the deflector array because I don't have enough hollow emitters to uh, work on our work on our armory, but. <coughs> As you can see, I have a low amount of uh, all items uh, simply because I have been using them as replicator fuel. Uh, since I really, you know, we really contribute a minimal amount every day. I mean, and we end up getting a stack load of, uh, of items. It's not really worth uh, doing things otherwise. And that leads me to, let's see, I'm collecting on my... On my PVPs today, my rewards, and we might do some uh, space battles today. 
And I've got a ways to go before I can get the uh, Avenger. So uh, the rewards for the Avenger are a new ship. Uh, most people don't even have that uh, unless you've made, you've paid with Dilithium and you've gotten schematics through your purchases. Also, the Admiral gives you Prakesh schematics and most people don't use Prakesh to do any sort of real battles. <coughs> Unless that is the only ship that you have, and you happen to be lucky enough to get it maxed out, but and then the last one is the Defiant Class uh, schematics, uh, which is a precursor to the uh, the USS Defiant. But um, schematics are not really all that great. <coughs> okay, so here's what we're gonna go ahead and do. And we are going to go ahead and go with the exciting part first. And we're going to go ahead and do some shopping. Since I happen to have enough honor. For 50000 We are going to go ahead and go to the honor hall. And purchase a uh, meritorious promotion. Okay. Um, it's always good to have... Um, you know, you can buy a lot of things from the Honor Hall, and most people end up buying um, the rare, uh, I mean, the legendary Behold, uh, legendary Honorable Citation, and super rare Honorable Citation, as well as the special characters uh, for Gauntlet, Kayla the Unforgettable, Captain Beverly Picard, and so those particular... Um, and then I've gotten Stargazer Picard, but then you also have uh, the Emergency Medical Hologram. I'm not interested in spending 15000 honor just for a two-star character. <laughs> no thank you. But uh, let's go ahead and get this. This is why I'm here. Um, I did a video, of course, obviously, of uh, the... Um, a while back over whether it's um, profitable to actually go for legendary beholds over meritorious promotions and if you have a lot of legendary characters uh, it is definitely worth it because you can get uh, a copy but it's not controlled to where you can't decide exactly who you want uh, you only have three choices uh, as opposed to multiple choices with a legendary honorable citation. So, and then what we want to go ahead and do is we want to go ahead and get the community, top community reward, and we're going to go ahead and claim that. And this is what we're going to do. It's very simple. And we're going to go ahead and pull that out right now. Let's see what we get. And that is today's community, uh, that is today's, <coughs> that is uh, also today's, um, what do you, uh, daily, so we're doing a daily for that, and let's see what we get, let's hopefully we get something really special today. Okay, that means that we're going to get a behold of some kind. Yeah, we might get something really good, man. Okay, awesome. We're going to go ahead and get another copy of T-Roll. So, I definitely need her. So, definitely want to get her immortalized. <laughs> I love this. This is great, man. Two copies of T-Roll, man. I'm like, I will take that. And so that means that I get another character immortalized today. Uh, a Romulan, which is awesome. Uh, that's going to be great. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that part first. And, uh, you know, I can't complain, man. <laughs> All right. And T-Roll is a pretty good character, so I, I, I'm gonna, I, I can't complain about that. So, she has some really good engineering traits. Uh, 
Okay. No. I really do hate how this is going slowly. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and make this symbol for me. Security reports. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this going. Yeah, the game was really generous for me. Uh, I don't get a legend here, but that's fine. I'm not worried about that. So this character affords me the opportunity to get another Romulan uh, on the list. And so she's going to go ahead and get immortalized. And so I will have two characters immortalized uh, in this video. A third one I will end up getting, and as you can see, uh, Commander T-Roll goes to 928 Engineering. And her security and science are pretty low, but she has a pretty good um, pretty good um, proficiency on her security, so she's really good on that. And right now, as you saw earlier today in this video, we're working on getting our security up. Uh, so that's actually going to get up to about, mm, let's see, maybe about 189 to about six, 599 or 600. And we'll see. So uh, the beauty about this one is that uh, Subcommander T-Roll has several, uh, several collections. If you are... If you are here to work on getting your collections up, this is a perfect character to get up. Uh, she is a Romulan, so that comes under the Romulan collection tab. And then you have veterans, so I get another uh, couple of um, um, notches on my collections to work on. So she is immortalized, so that is good. She has a high amount of engineering, so she's going to be useful in that area later. And now toward the, uh, let's go ahead and work on uh, immortalizing a new legend. And so uh, today it's going to be Dukat. Um, I was hoping that I would have gotten a legendary pull and that would have sent one of my three star characters to four, but that didn't happen. And so we're going to get this guy here, Barreith Kol Dukat. Uh, you know, everybody likes a good villain, and I think he is a good villain at the end, you know, and, um, so we're going to go ahead and get him going up right now, so he's going to become immortalized, and nice, and so he's going to be good for command and diplomacy, some security. And he's also going to be good on the Cardassian trait. And so uh, he's also going to be good on the inspiring trait. Um, and so the thing is, is that um, that's going to be pretty good here. And so that definitely helps out. I'd also like to make some new recommendations uh, for the... Um, collections i think that they should do uh, they just did a collect they just did an addition to collections in terms of uh the robin hood or cupid characters and i think that what they should also do is that they should also do collections in particular for all of the um main characters of all of the uh tv series uh the original series uh the um uh, Star Trek The Next Generation, DS9, Voyager, um, Discovery, and then, of course, Enterprise. So they should do um, those as well. Plus, I think that they should also have uh, two other ones, one for Cultural Figure and the other one for Klingon. So uh, Costume would also be a good one as well. So those would be my recommendations to give to Disruptor Beam uh, for that. But... Well, it looks like we have 
two immortals, so that's not bad. So let's see. We can we can see where he's at. Eleven twenty seven command, eleven fifty five diplomacy, and five hundred and fifty security. So he goes up a hundred on security. Uh, and why do I do this? Um, because I, I want to have good uh, good voyages. I think good voyages are really helpful. And let's go over here, go over there, and go to that really quick. So we are going to collect on our voyage today. <clears throat> uh, most of these voyages have been going about six hours. Uh, six hours is the um, average in terms of how well I do. Uh, about thirty to 50, about thirty percent of the time, I get I can do eight hours, but I have to have the right proficiencies, the right skills, high enough in order to do that. And usually, that's only going to happen with um, diplomacy, command, and security. So those particular ones are going to have to be taken into consideration. And in this particular voyage. Uh, there's one character that I cannot use that's immortalized right now, and that is the one that I have, uh, which is Jadzia, Lieutenant Commander Jadzia Dax. I can't use her because I'm using her for this event, and she is really helpful. Um, she's been very helpful for me in, in that, and so I have to hold hold off on using her. And for this particular voyage, the two skills that are going to be most uh, common or prevalent are going to be your science and your command skills. So we're looking for the Prakesh. Here we go. So the Prakesh will give you the Cardassian bonus. It's obvious that we want to go ahead and do that. So we're going to have Borg Queen here. Picard here. Okay. And here is the perfect character here for uh, for our voyage, um, Dukat. And let's see, we're gonna go ahead and use LaForge today. No, let's. Uh, yeah, actually, I can use that Jadzia because I'm not actually uh, really using her. I will go ahead and use her, Kortar. And as you can see, I can probably end up using this character right here, Jansia Dax. Well, it's strange she's not on here. <laughs> Let's see. We'll go ahead and use this character here. Resourceful. Data. Uh, we're gonna use a caretaker. Oh, you know what? I can probably use this guy over here. Although I will end up getting a, a much smaller bonus. Well, let's just go use a caretaker. And so here, I can use Surak, and I am going to have to... Um, Oh, uh, wow, this is really low, so I don't really want to use that. I can't use this character here because this one is being used on the event right now. Uh, we'll go ahead and use this character here. And then we're going to go ahead and use uh, Dr. McCoy I'm going to. and Bashir. So, as you can see, I mean, I don't have enough yet to try to um, push through eight hours. Um, I need, usually I need my security and my, uh, my command to be over 8,000 to be considered. And on my gold, I need at least, I need at least 8,000 as well for that to happen. And so, not bad, I mean, you know, overall, I mean, some of your stats are really going up. I try to do an overall balanced approach, so that way you have the lowest skills, at least high enough to, to avoid, you know, to avoid failing. And so we're going to go ahead and engage. And so that's not too bad. 
And so we're not doing too bad at all, man. I'm like... So I'm doing some collections here. Make sure that you, uh, make sure that you get your 200 every day, man. At the very least, if you're not in a, in a, in a fleet, in 250 days, you get enough, you get enough, uh, honor, um, outright for a, uh, legendary character if you do your daily missions every day. Uh, but of course you can also get honor this way and I will go ahead and show you what I mean over here we're gonna go ahead and work on getting some honor <clears throat> and we're gonna go ahead and just simply we're gonna go ahead and simply uh, use some training modules on this because of the fact that we need to use them and I ended up doing a lot of a lot of those, getting a lot of training modules, and see you later, Chief Engineer LaForge. Tool of Sparkly, another hundred bucks, and so we begin our <coughs> we begin our ascent into another fifty thousand. And so one percent toward the next goal. <laughs> yep. And so here we got Prisoner Bones McCoy. Excuse me. I haven't worked on Siska yet because um, I don't want to work on her just yet because who I want to work on right now uh, during this video is going to be our friend here, our new character that we have gotten. And I have gotten him up, gotten him up to 40, Adha Ruafu or Ruaf, Ruafo. And he's at level 40, and the reason why I can't get him up right now is because of this right here. One little thing that comes between us and success, and it is this little dumb Dominion pad. Definitely not fun on that. So, we're going to be dealing with that on a consistent basis as we move up. And so, that's not going to be any fun whatsoever. And I had some, I had some Dominion pads earlier today, but I ended up using them on the diseased founder, and I had to replicate my way up to get her up to a hundred uh, today. And then here are the three copies. So look at that, two copies from the uh, the monthlies, and then one copy from the pool. So I can technically work on getting Kevin. But I already have Kevin frozen. And uh, Kevin is this nasty uh, warder that comes out in DS9. <clears throat> Ends up killing his own men because he doesn't have enough Ketracel White. And for fear of his uh, Jem'Hadar warriors um, revolting and killing him, he ends up simply giving up battle plan information to uh, Star Trek, uh, to the Cisco, 
to, you know, basically um, avoid getting killed by his own men. And in the end, of course, he knows that the Federation isn't going to kill him. They're going to try to get as much information as possible. <clears throat> but he goes. Trying to see if I have any other characters here that need to be removed. And... Excuse me, so I'm still looking for some characters here. Okay. I have one copy of the regular founder. <clears throat> I wish they would have used her, but the game the game knows how uh the game knows how to work on the four star characters that are needed in order for you to be able to um, get anywhere so they use the four characters because most people are gonna have four characters uh to begin with and not the five so um at the end of the day we're over here let's go ahead and work on this really quick and I have to replicate there's no other way around it. Um, immediately, but let's go ahead and do some shuttles here really quick. I've got some Dominion shuttles we can work on. <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and do something today that I normally don't do, and I'm going to go ahead and try to go for double rewards today. And let's see. I've got to use the highest ones because I'm going to end up using the... Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this here today. Um, I have 3% boost on that. That's not great, but we'll take it. Uh, because I need to have those, uh, those Dominion pads. Those are really difficult to get as well. And I've already got one from yesterday uh, from the shop. So not much I can do here today. Every time I, I keep getting an opportunity to try to use Javzia, but I, I, as I said before, I can't use her. <laughs> she really is that valuable. And if you can get Javzia Dax immortalized, Lieutenant Commander Javzia Dax immortalized, she is so helpful because she uh, appears in so many, so many events and... Um, she uh she's really useful you know the other character that i think has been really useful uh is any version of picard so mirror image picard has become also very useful as well uh ducat is also a recurring theme character so he's going to be very helpful and so let's go ahead and go there so i've already got a couple of goodies over here on this end Started faction missions, trained a crew member. Okay. And let's go ahead and do some battles here. 
I'm going to go ahead and do one of these today. So this is my layout. So as you've already seen it before, I've got these four characters. This guy right here eventually is one of the guys that I want to change. Um, but he has to have a... Um, he has to have uh, command or security. And he also has to have uh, the attack ability. So we're going to go ahead and fight this guy right here. <coughs> And there we go. Not too bad, right? <clears throat> Just know how to use use your attack abilities and time them right, and you won't have any problems with most of your space battles. Since today is Friday, that means Chronoton Day for our cadet challenges, and we want to go ahead and do that as well. I'm doing this one, obviously, because it has the highest experience, uh, cash, and some of the best rewards. Uh, the middle, I wanted to do the uh, last row on the middle because I could use some science experiments and uh, the new character is going to be using some of those and um, and I'm going to start using our little friend here data to help us get through the events Usually I've been used to working on with Sato, uh, but I'm thinking about putting her on cryostasis so that I can have more, um, so I can have more, um, more, more room for characters because I just, I'm going to end up getting another immortal later on here and that's going to be uh, the disease founder. So let's go ahead and do some replications here. Uh, I have to do this because that is the only way I can work with anything for right now. We're going to go ahead and uh, use our ship schematics here. I try to use these first because I know at the end of the day, uh, what has to happen is we got to always try to get rid of the extra junk that we have. Okay. And it looks like Prakesh is the only thing that's left to work with. <clears throat> I spent most of my replications yesterday on trying to get the diseased founder up to a hundred. And it's never any fun or easy to try to get that going, so... And see, that's a recurring theme for our character here. Our character definitely needs more of those per, uh, replications, so that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing. Uh, chances are he'll probably end up going up to about level level 80 today um, because of the fact that I'm not really going to have enough of those uh, materials and resources in order to get our character up to 100 unless I, I get a lot of those uh, uh, founder pads 
you know, the Dominion pads that, that are used to help bring some of these uh, characters up. And um, I'm just getting rid of this over here, so that way we can go ahead and get that out of the way. And... 157. Aren't you glad that I don't have 15,000, um, you know, training crews? <laughs> that would just be really bad. I try to limit them for a reason so that way I don't have to, you know, I don't have to have too many, you know. They just kind of pile up, you know. Okay. I had done some replications a few days ago on a toolbox and... Just as easy as that, that ends up becoming in, you know, that just helps me out right here. And this is what I'm going to do right here. This character, as you can see, he uses up a lot of these right here. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, for my two daily <clears throat> for my two daily um, space battles I mean you have to do 20 every day uh, in order for you to get your bonuses um, so we're gonna go ahead and do that today so that's gonna help out a little bit but since I'm doing a lot of replication um, you know, they're just simply going to add up, but at the end of the day, I mean, you know, I'd rather have more of these um, because they get used up quite fast, especially for this guy, as you can see. So, moved up a little bit, and once again, we have to replicate. There is no real option here other than to do that. Uh, replicator rations, six here. And let's see, star base components. Let's go ahead and do some of these. And we'll get rid of the last of these here in just a few minutes. Okay. I'm glad I got the, that one for free, so I won't complain there. Now this is the game, this is going to be the character that is going to be recurring on the uh, event, and I as as I as I said in some of the other videos, it is highly suggested that you get this character up uh, fully equipped as soon as possible because of the importance of what this character brings to the table. <clears throat> And take a look at what uh, this guy has to offer. His attack is pretty low. It's even lower than uh, Data's, uh, the uh, Tempted Data. And the reason why I'm comparing him to Tempted Data is because uh, his uh, stats are very similar in some aspects. He has 20% to attack speed. This character has 30% to attack speed. Uh, but his attack is only, when you, when you add it up, uh, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, so his attack only goes up to six. Data goes up to seven, um, but his attack speed is uh, only 20%. Uh, but he has some extremely good evas evasion and uh, accuracy abilities. So uh, I would rather have him than, than this guy right here. Um, Flux Coupler. Authorization code. Sonar skin stretcher. My, I'm curious as to why the game only. Okay, so I ended up 
I ended up getting a whole bunch of those earlier today. As you can see, he's going to be using up a lot of resources here, especially these right here. But for right now, I can do that because I ended up getting a whole bunch of those uh, earlier today. The good thing, the good news today is that we have a lot of chronotons as well to work with. Uh, 667, and I haven't even touched those yet. Those will go up um, because of the fact that we have uh, more um, Let's go ahead and do another, another shuttle mission here today. I mean, another, excuse me, another cadet mission. Sorry about that. more chronotons for me all right so let's do another battle I've really been focusing on this one over here, on this, uh, on these battles here today. Uh, we're going to go ahead and do uh, some sphere battles. For the reason that our sphere battles are going to be helpful here in getting the um, copies of the new Avenger ship. Um, I'm thinking about wanting to tweak the some of the characters here. So I'm literally fighting for my life here, trying to survive here and well. Oh, it looks like I lost. Well, it happens, you know. I gave it a good fight, right? As you can see, my my uh, accuracy is definitely higher on my end, but uh, I didn't I didn't have enough hull, or I, you know, he did more damage on on his end, so that's why he won. So <clears throat> I'm not as good on the uh, captain area as I would be on the admiral. So I've got to work on that. Got to work on getting some other four-star characters. So I'm wondering if I'm going to be able to get this character up to uh, level 100 today, fully equipped. We'll see. I 
So, so far, not too bad. I didn't think I was going to be able to get this character up today. Because I thought it was going to require... Um, those Dominion pads up until that... Up until 100, so... I'm going to go ahead and end up using most of my, most of my, um, I'm going to go ahead and do a whole bunch of these for the, for a very important reason. And that is, I want to go ahead and build up my, uh, ID codes. This one is used up quite a lot. So, uh, I strongly suggest that you go ahead and get as many of these as you can and use up <coughs> your energy for that reason. And the reason why... It's so low is because you hardly get any of these. I mean, uh, I, I have a real bone to pick with uh, the uh, game with this because uh, let's go back really quick and let me explain why. And when you try to do this one right here, um, the best chance for you to get any of them is on this one here. And this is with the actual uh, chroniton reduction cost. Normally this costs eight and you get very few of them and so um they really need to change that to where you get a lot more all the other ones have just a one in five chance this one is a 60 percent chance but you hardly get anything so but if we get this up this will help us out quite a bit <coughs> this one had 10 so that's not bad but we're just going to use up all of our energy here for this one um because it's so helpful to have those um and a lot of characters end up using it so see that one only gave you once so that was pretty lame <coughs> That's good enough right there. So we ended up building up our arsenal of, the, of these codes quite a bit. So that's really going to help us out. 96 of these. And I want to get this back up to about four to 500. But we're going to wait for the skirmishes for that. So, uh, But once again, I get these, these get used up fast. So one-star databases and one-star identification codes, they get used up quite quickly and quite fast. <coughs> So, um, another, another item that gets used up really quick are the three star, um, these three star databases, they get used up quite quickly. Also, um, I also recommend that you try to get those up as well. These also get used up very quickly, so... So here I'm going to have some trouble. I'm already going to run into trouble again. <coughs> uh, the reason why I'm going to run into trouble is because of the fact that I just have only three of these uh, three stars. So I'm going to ask you guys, you think I'm going to get this guy up to 100 today? What do you think? Uh, since the video is going on right now, we shall see. Toolbox has definitely worked nicely. I have no regrets about using <coughs> the energy toward getting all of those uh, ID codes. They definitely get needed, but I am going to have to get some. Um, I'm going to have to have some energy so I can be able to work on getting some of these other items that didn't get worked on. And 
so I get a little bit left from the actual event itself. Okay. Wow, 110 engineering, so that's actually really good. I think one common problem that everybody experiences when it comes to playing uh, with these characters is that a lot of these characters end up having problems getting some of these special items that are needed. Uh, medical lessons and uh, all sorts of other things. They end up getting used up quite a bit. And so you're going to have a hard time building up some of these characters. Plus, um, what's also difficult is that, you know, you have a difficult time having enough money uh, is a common problem that everybody that I see in the videos has. Uh, <clears throat> my solution has always been, um, number one, you know, of course, every you know, other people, what they do is they save up. Uh, and, and that's a good thing, you know, everybody, everybody is entitled to doing that. And so here I'm going to have to basically try to get some more of these. Uh, let's go ahead and do some, um, let's go ahead and do some more of these right here because we're going to need them anyway. So I'm hoping that I can pick up enough of those, uh, those three star items. And I will show you where you can go get some and you can buy some from the actual fleet. But uh, not the fleet, but from the uh, from the star bases factions. The only problem with that is that I don't have enough merits to do any purchases and it is a three star item. So what that means is that I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have to use up all of my energy on this video in order to pick up some of these items. And uh, as you can see, um, it's already costing me um, a lot. And there's two two pieces of equipment that are gonna need those three star. Um, components, the, they look like chips or something like that. Uh, quite frankly, they look like tarantulas. <laughs> okay, so let's go ahead and look back over here for our character. So our character is going to need this right here. These, uh, I don't know what you call these right now. But we are going to go ahead and go really quick to see if, uh, let's see, the Dominion might have some. And the Cardassians might have some in their, in their station. So let's go ahead and go over here really quick to see if any of those uh, faction groups have them. Hmm. Nope. Let's see if the Dominion has him. So I've already done four shuttle missions to see if I have, see if I can pick up some of those. Uh, 
Uh, the chances of pick up picking up anything are low itself, but uh, possible. And today there are no no other characters, but I mean no other no other. Uh, there's no way to pick up anything right now. But let's put it this way: in about in about seven, seven in about eight hours, I can be able to get some more. Ten missions, so more merits are needed. Okay. Uh -huh. Let's go back over here. So right now what we're trying to do is we're trying to get enough energy so we can do a few shuttle missions, a few away missions. Let's see if we can get those, um, I think they're called uh, processors, microprocessors, three-star microprocessors. Okay. Space battle really quick. Let's go ahead and do this one. so hot on that so it looks like I'm gonna go ahead and do something really quick on this really quick wait I did end up getting a couple of characters close to immortalized so let's see let's see if T roll helps us out today Nope, that ain't gonna work for me. Oh, we can try to do this one. See if that helps us out on our, on our next battles. Oops. Let's try this out, see if that helps us out, because we definitely need some extra hull ability. Checking to see if uh, any of my crew members, what are they saying? Okay, so my friend gets level 73. I'm like, I'm just level 70, so, but I'm happy with there. I 
think today I get my results today on whether I get to be a, uh, whether I pass my Spanish certification. So I'm, I'm working toward becoming a bilingual educator here in the state of Texas. Uh, so I can go ahead and teach Spanish and English at the same time. Um, so wish me luck on that. And I'm sorry this video is taking so long, but there are this. these are some very important steps that I have to take today uh, for this particular month. It's really critical to do this early so that way you can have a good advantage toward the entire game. Um, and so now we have enough energy to work on getting this here. So... Oh, I am so not going to like this. But, let's go ahead and do this. Okay, four stars, so that's not too bad. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this one. This is supposed to be 11, so this is supposed to give me a really good chance at getting him. Let's go ahead and do that. Hopefully I have enough of those. I get enough of those um, to um, help build up my character. Wow, check that out, man. That is so cheesy. I get one. So... That's a real complaint, isn't it? Yes, sir. Let's try doing another battle here really quick. like no matter what I do I don't really do so hot uh, on that so chances are I'm going to have to find different characters to work with oh well, let's see do I have something going on here in the gauntlet Okay, I'll go do a couple of gauntlet battles here really quick. Uh, doesn't look like I have anything good here. That's really the best chance I have. Wow, that's really lame. I will go ahead and have to use this character here. See if I have a, a chance at winning. Nope, I don't. This is my best chance, so I might as well take advantage of that. Alright. Let's go ahead and go back over here. I need I need to have more of those microprocessors, man. Looks like I really got cleaned out by this guy, and I'm going to have to really work hard uh, toward getting them. And let me go ahead and move this over here. And this right here, man. This is my only real chance, Rolando. And to me, it looks like my work has been cut out for me today. But not completely, so I think I'll get something. So, I 
need more chronotons. And so I've got 75 energy units, and that's all I have for today. And let's try to see if we can get some more of these. I just simply need one. <laughs> for right now. Wow, look at that. That is just really horrible. Okay. I apologize for the inconvenience. I'm going to have to put you guys... I'm going to have to uh, give you guys a commercial today. <laughs> Sorry about that. This is how lame it is, man. I didn't, I, in, in 15 or 16 of these, I don't get a single... I don't get, I only get one processor, and I guess I chose, I picked on the wrong, wow, okay, really bad, this is really bad, and he's at level 90, This is ridiculous, man. So this dumb micro connector is keeping me from hitting my goals today. How ridiculous. God, I hate this. This is so stupid. And... Let me guess, a lot of you end up having the same kind of problem, don't you? Yeah. Let's see. Let's do this. I'm going to have to do this four times. Okay. And I'm going to have to do this. I'm going to have to replicate this today. Okay, now I don't really want to do that. Let's try doing something else. Nope. And we'll end up using... A whole bunch of micro connectors that I don't need. Okay, we can work with that. That's not bad. But we're going to end up doing some more replications on this one simply because of the fact uh, that the actual character is um, going to need more toward 100, and so might not have anything by the time I get to 100. Okay, so this looks good. How good? I don't know. We'll find out here in a little bit. I had the fortunate 
fortunate I made the fortunate decision a while back to go ahead and replicate a whole bunch of these uh, three star whiskeys. They do come in handy and they did come in handy here. So that's going to help out here. Engineering lesson. Man, talk about what it takes to get this guy going, man. Engineers usually take, usually cost a lot anyways. Uh, I've noticed that over time, building up an engineer does take up quite a bit of uh, energy and resources. So I'm just going to go ahead and cut to the chase on this. And he's really good in engineering, man. Wow. I'm not going to complain about that today. And the last thing that I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm not even going to bother with this one. This is going to be fully replicated. Uh, there's really uh, no way that I want to do anything else here today. So we're going to go ahead and do, we're going to go ahead and get rid of a lot of these. Um, simply because of the fact uh, that we have so much of this. I'm not going to use them all up. Granted, I mean, but we are going to use up quite a bit of them just so that way we can go ahead and... Uh, let's go ahead and get rid of more. Actually, let me go ahead and go over here to the star base components. I think that'll do. That's perfect. And so that takes care of Rafu. So, you know, the irony is, is that I still have a whole bunch of replicator rations. And so this is crazy. Look at this right here. For engineering, Adhar Rafu has 1,069 engineering for a one star. Uh, he's really low everywhere else, but he's really good in engineering. So... Uh, he's really going to be helpful on a lot of things. So once we get this guy up to five stars, uh, he'll be really a really good engineering. But I didn't want to get him up right now simply because I wanted to get Ducat up. And so I'm going to go ahead and end the video here today. Uh, I'm glad I did get to get him up here today. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and continue on on my own. It's been a long video, but uh, we did get two characters immortalized today. And uh, we got a legend immortalized as well. Uh, and so, you know, things are really good. I'm really pleased with how everything is going. Uh, if you managed to actually make it through this entire video or even just watch part of this video and you liked it, please uh, press like on this video and subscribe if this interests you. And then once again, thank you very much for watching. This is Universal Missionary. Muchas gracias por haber mi, uh, mirado uh, mi video. Hasta luego. Bye.